Look at her. Look at her mama, man. Look at her. That ain't Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Journey Simone. And go ahead and subscribe because I want you to be a part of my channel. If you have been here before, welcome back. You already know how stuff goes and it comes down to the story time. So I hope you guys enjoy this story time. Um, my last story time I did maybe like a month ago. And it did really good. It got over a thousand views. And another story time was highly requested. So I decided why not do another one. Um, so yeah today i'm gonna be telling you guys about the first trying to find my phone <laughs> about the first time that i got in a fist fight um this was so let me just give y'all like a little background so this is my sophomore year so it was last year um 2022 the beginning of like 2022 so about a year ago and um during middle school i did not fight I was friends with everybody. Everybody loved me because I'm I'm cool. So um, during middle school, I did not fight. I think I had a fight like in elementary school, but it wasn't like a real like it wasn't. I was like in fourth grade, like so I really don't count it. So I do count this one as like kind of a first fight because it's my first fight in high school and I didn't fight in middle school. So yeah. So um, we're gonna get into the story. So I'm gonna make fake names for the people, but. So I'm gonna kind of talk to y'all. I'm gonna kind of tell y'all like before all this had happened. So before spring break, this was on spring break. So um, spring break is in March. So it's almost been a year. So before spring break, before we went on spring break, I was friends with this girl named, um, I don't know what to name her. We're gonna name her Janae. Okay, as I, I go was friends on, with a girl named Janae. Janae is so, S. Me and Janae were cool, so we sat at the same but lunch Janae table. Janae is S in this video. So, um, I sat at the lunch table with Janae, and Janae had like three of her other friends sitting at the lunch table with us. So we're all sitting at the lunch table, and the girl that I fought sat at the same lunch table. Um, okay, my camera is about to die, sadly. So I'm gonna go change my battery out, and then I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I did have to wait on my camera to charge, so it was like some technical difficulties, and then I got on the phone and all that. But, where was I at? I think I was at the part where I was saying, we all sat at the same lunch table, and, um, yeah, so before spring break, I think I was there. Before spring break, um, my friend that was sitting at the lunch table, um, I guess she was, I guess she was looking at the girl that I fought. We're gonna name her... CC, we're gonna name her CC. I guess she was looking at CC a type of way, um, which when I'm at lunch, either I just be I just be on my phone. Honestly, that's when I get my time to be on my phone. Um, I edit videos during lunch. I don't really, you know what I'm saying. I don't really be even talking for real. So I guess my friend before spring break, I guess she was making like looking at her some type of way or something. And then so me and me and CC had a mutual friend. Me and Cece had a mutual friend. We're going to call her. We're going to call her Kiki. I'm trying to use their first initial like so I can remember. Okay, so me and Cece, the girl that I fought, had a mutual friend named Kiki. So Kiki um, was our mutual friend. Like Kiki would pick me up for school. They were also a gray above me. So they were already juniors and I was a sophomore. So um, Kiki had a car shipping me up for school. Like me and Kiki was cool as hell. So, um... So me and Kiki also had Spanish Spanish one together after lunch. So after lunch, we go to class or whatever. And Kiki was in there. So I was um she had texted me during class and was like, um, what she said, she was like, You need to get your friend, like she's staring at my friend Cece. And I'm like, that okay, but they were but she told me to tell her that she need to move seats. She don't need to sit at that table no more and I need to get her. And in my head, in my head, um, I'm like, who am I to tell somebody that they can't sit at the lunch table and it's a thousand seats in this room? Like, I'm not finna, I'm not finna tell somebody they can't sit here. Like, we don't have assigned seats and I'm not finna, like, you know what I'm saying? Who am I to tell her she can't sit at the lunch table where she wanna sit? Like, and it was just the fact they were trying to get me to do it and they could have told her personally because that didn't have nothing to do with me. If she's looking at you some type of way, that don't have nothing to do with me. I didn't even know she was looking at you. So, um, 
Yeah, I guess CC felt some type of way, and CC told Kiki to tell me. So, because she know that she was my friend also. So, yeah, she told me or whatever, and I'm like, I'm not finna tell her to move seats. Um, that don't have nothing to do with me. Um, and I was like, she don't have to move seats like it ain't that deep. Like, if y'all feel some type of way, y'all can move seats. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really think it was a big deal, honestly, because it's just like, if I feel uncomfortable and if I feel uncomfortable sitting at a table with somebody, I'm gonna move seats because I'm the one feeling uncomfortable. You get what I'm saying? So I was just like, okay, like that's weird. So um I left it alone after that. I left it alone. We still continued to sit at the table together. Um and like y'all, the way we were sitting, like I was sitting on this side and the girl I fought was sitting like right here on the other side of the table. Like we were kind of close, you know what I'm saying? So um fast forward, we went on spring break. Went on spring break for about a week couple days whatever we get back from spring break so the first day back from spring break y'all so so to mention um what did i name my friend i forgot what i named her did it start with an s i forgot but my friend um yeah it wasn't like they didn't say nothing else to me about it after that or whatever so i thought the situation was dead i'm like Okay, y'all didn't say nothing else about it. Like, it ain't that deep. Um, which, it wasn't my problem to begin with. So, um, fast forward. We come back from spring break. So, I remember I had went to Memphis. I had went to Memphis. And I had just got back, like, the same morning at school. I was running off two hours of sleep. I think I got back at 3 o'clock in the morning. I had to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, I was really tired all day at school, y'all. Like, I had just got back. I had a long spring break. And... I was tired. So, I was sleeping in my classes all day. Um, Yeah, I was sleeping in my classes all day because I had barely got any sleep that night. So, I remember I had, I believe it was algebra before lunch. I had algebra, and that's how it is this year, too. I have algebra before lunch. So, I think last year it was algebra before lunch. And I had, um, I had just got out of my class. I'm trying to remember. Who was my algebra teacher last year? No, I didn't have algebra. It was geometry. I'm confusing myself. I had geometry last year. I remember I had Miss Gray. I had geometry. And me and the friend that I was taking up for, we had geometry together. So, which makes it more sense of how we had the same lunch. So, me and my friend, I forgot what I named her. Not going to lie. But, um, yeah. Me and my friend, we just going to call her S, I guess. I really forgot what I named her. But, me and S had the same lunch or whatever because we had the same class. So, me and S went to lunch. I had just woke up. In geometry, I literally was asleep. Like, right before I went to lunch, I was asleep. And when the bell rung, I had woke up and we went straight to lunch. So, we go straight to lunch. I walk in the lunchroom and I'm looking, um, I'm just looking around, you know, observing or whatever. Um, I think my boyfriend was in ISS today. He was. He was in ISS today. So, we was not walking together. So, um... Yeah, so I, I'm really trying to remember the story this so long ago. So, yeah, I walked in and I got in the lunch line. It usually be a long line, y'all. Like, so I got in the lunch line and I just looked over at my seat. I looked over at my seat, the table that I sat at. And when I looked over there, CC and Kiki and their, their group of friends were already um, sitting over there. Ignore me sweating. If y'all can see that, ignore that. Um... Because I just got out of school and I this is the same clothes I had school I had on at school. So, yeah, they had, um, I had seen them sitting out at the table, but they sit there every day. So, I didn't think nothing of it. Like, I'm like, okay, they're sitting at the table. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't, I didn't really care. I was already tired. So, um, after that, I went ahead and I got in the lunch line. So, when I got in the lunch line, I got my tray and I got out the lunch line with my friend S. We both got out the lunch line and we went to sit, we walked over to the table. So... When I walked over to the table, it was somebody backpack sitting in my chair, sitting in my seat. So, um, I sit in that specific seat every single day. I did sit in that specific seat every single day. I never, like, moved seats. I didn't go to the opposite side. I didn't go to a different table because that was just the seat I sat in. Like, me and my friends, we all sat in the same seat every single day. So, I knew that they knew that that was my seat. But I didn't know who backpack it was. I thought, and this wasn't the first time somebody put their backpack in my seat and I moved it. So, I did pick up the backpack, y'all, and I set it in another seat. Like, the seat right beside me. I set it in the seat right beside me. 
Cause I'm like, and I did, I asked the dude that was right there that's in their friend group. I was like, is this your backpack? Like, do you know who backpack this is? And he was like, no. And I'm like, okay, he don't know who backpack this is. Like, I don't know who it is either. I'm just going to set it over here and they'll come get their backpack. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was thinking of it. Like, I don't know who backpack this is. It ain't a big deal, whatever. Like, I'm just going to set it over here and they'll get their backpack. Like, maybe they, maybe they thought, you know what I'm saying? So I'm always trying to get somebody the benefit of the doubt. Like, but I learned how to stop doing that. But yeah, so I went ahead and I moved the backpack. So when I set my tray down on the table and I sat down, I remember turning back and I looked back at the lunch line. And when I looked back, Cece and Kiki were in the lunch line getting their tray. And they were looking over at me while I was at the table. But I didn't think nothing of it again. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Cause they sit that table, we sit at the same table. So fast forward. So after I moved the backpack, I sat there for about like, maybe like 10 seconds, y'all. 10 seconds after I was sitting there, Cece approached me. She approached me while I'm sitting down. She's standing up. She approached me. I still have my backpack. Look, this is how you know I didn't even get settled in. I have my backpack on. I have my purse on. I have my jacket on. I have my phone in my hand, AirPods, all that. Like, literally. Um, um, yeah, so I was, I didn't even get to take my backpack off or none of that. So I, um, I did, um, I did um, sit down. I said, as soon as I set my tray down, I set my butt in the seat. Like ten seconds later, she walked up, and she and I like turned around because you know how like you can feel a presence over your shoulder. That's how I kind of was. Like I kind of felt her over my shoulder. So I turned around or whatever, and I'm like, yeah, like you need something. <laughs> like I'm like, yeah, like what's up? So she was like, um, what she say? She was like, um, I'm not trying to get out of character. Like I'm trying to, you know, I'm cool. So. So, but, um, she was like, why you move my shit or something like that? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm like, oh, your backpack? This your backpack? She was like, yeah, don't touch my shit. I said, first of all, I didn't notice, I didn't notice was your stuff, but it's in my seat and I'm sitting right here. I'm, I sit right here every single day. And I said, your seat is on the other side of the table. Like I sit here every day. And I, and I moved it because I need to sit down to eat my lunch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I, it was not that big of a deal. Like, uh, she was like, well, don't touch my shit. I don't care who's sitting here. And I'm like, well, don't put your shit in my seat huh, if you don't want it to be touched. So she, she, um, she was getting mad, I guess, which I didn't feel like it was that deep. Like, I really wouldn't have fought over that. Like, it, it was a backpack, literally. Um, but I did feel like she felt like it was she already had animosity towards me because of my friends or because I stood up for my friend. Like, I don't know. I feel like she kind of already was upset about the whole friend situation. So then she was coming for me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, whatever. So, um, so yeah, she's like, well, I don't care who's sitting here. I don't give a fuck. Don't move my shit. And I'm like, well, you can put your stuff in your seat next time. Like, it ain't that deep. You can put your stuff in your seat. I wasn't saying it wasn't that deep to her because like you know like I'm, I'm sitting down so then i started i started reading the room you know how you read the room i'm reading the room i'm like okay i'm sitting down she's standing up she ain't got no backpack on she ain't got nothing on her i'm like okay i feel like you're like so i'm like let me stand up so i stood up i proceeded to stand up um i stood up and she said let me get my friend her airpods and I guess, I guess they was using the same AirPods. I don't know. She took them out, uh, walked over there, put them in a the case or whatever, gave them to her friend. And, um, I guess she gave her her phone too. I don't really remember. I wasn't really paying attention, but I remember her saying, let me get my friend her AirPods. So I'm like, so I was standing up and, um, I literally, y'all, I set my phone. I did my phone like this. I set my phone on the table and I turned around. I turned back around. As soon as I turned back around, y'all, she swung like, I was just so shocked. Like, what? Like, I felt like I feel like it's some people out there. They're they're looking for a fight. You know what I'm saying? They're looking for a reason to get upset or get. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, and remind y'all, I don't know her from. I don't know her. I I don't know her. All I knew was her grade. I did not know, and I know we had a mutual friend, which was Kiki. I didn't know her name. I didn't know her name, first name, last name. I couldn't tell you nothing about her and she didn't know me either. So it was just like, I just felt like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, um, and y'all like, I don't just be out here 
fighting, but I will if I have to get out there in that field. And I'm also a very honest person. So I say how I feel when I feel like, like when I feel that way, and all of my friends, like if you're, if you know me personally, like I'm gonna say how I feel. I'm very outgoing. I'm, I'm very friendly though. I talk to everybody. Like I'm outgoing. Like I'm one of the people. I'd be like, hey, I might not even know you, and I'm gonna say hey, or I'm gonna be like, hey. like you know what I'm saying? Like I make friends easily, so it's not, um, it's not, um, like it wasn't. But I wasn't being rude, cause like I didn't feel like it was that deep. I just was like, okay, like I moved your bag because it was in my seat. I didn't know who bag it was. Like you know what I'm saying? So I felt like she was, you know, so then I was like, okay, whatever. Um, so she swung, y'all. She swung. Y'all, I don't even know, like, if she hit me in the face. You know how when you're adrenaline rush, you can't feel nothing? So I don't even know if she hit me in the face, but I know she swung. And I'm going to put the video on the screen. So wait till the end for the video. But I know she swung. Um, and when she swung, I swung back. So I had on a wig, I remember. I had just got my hair done on spring break and my hair was literally up for a week. It, I had like two braids and it was pulled back and it was bone straight. So, um, yeah, it was like a middle part with two braids. So I had on a wig, which I do wear wigs. Um, this wig right now, I'm not ashamed to say I wear wigs. I wear wigs because they're easier to take on and off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't that big of a deal. I was not embarrassed that I wore a wig. I could tell you Baby, I have a collection of wigs. It was never that deep. Like, so, um, so when we got to fight and she went for my hair and she pulled my wig off. So y'all have about like 12 cornrows, 10, 12 cornrows. And I have like a long braid in the back. In the video, you can see my long braid in the back of my hair. So she pulled my wig off, which I was fine with. I'm glad I had a wig and I'm glad I didn't have braids because when you have braids, you can get bald spots. So, um, I had a wig and, um, she pulled my wig off. So nobody even knew we were fighting at first because we it was a quiet fight. It was just like, we was like, boom, 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 boom. It, we, was just, we was just going at it quietly though. And then people started seeing what was going on. Like people started getting loud, like, oh, oh. People started saying, even the principals didn't know we were fighting. But we were like the only ones standing up in the cafeteria. So um, people, you know, when people start being like, oh, they like, you know what I'm saying? Then people start seeing it and people start getting loud. Then the, then the principal started on. So after she swung, I swung back. We were thumping. She was thumping. She has, I think she has dreads. Um, so I wasn't pulling her hair. And I believe she had on, she had on like a scarf, y'all. She had on a scarf. I wasn't, um, I wasn't pulling her hair and she wasn't pulling mine because it was nothing to pull because all my hair was braided down. So we was just, y'all, we was just, we was just punching. So we throwing hits. Um, I'm a fast puncher, so it was like, you know what I'm saying? We was just going back and forth. I feel like she got her hits in, but I never felt like a blow to the face. Like, maybe she did, maybe I just didn't feel it because I was, and we was also moving very fast. So y'all, I remember, I remember after that, I think I put her like in a headlock, like under my arm or something like that. Cause I remember having her down and then, and then we both, and then, okay, I had on some stack converse y'all. And I tripped over the wheel, you know, at the end of the cafeteria table, it's a wheel right there. Yeah, I tripped over the wheel with them fat ass that converse on. And I fell, remind y'all, I have a backpack on. I have a backpack on and I have my purse. So my backpack is heavy. Um, We do not have lockers. I guess it's too many students to have lockers. So we carry everything in our backpack, which is computers, binders, folders, notebooks, anything. Everything that we have, I, we carry in our backpack. So everything is in my backpack. So when I fell, she fell too. And in the video, you can see her getting up off the ground. So Kiki, our supposedly mutual friend, which um, when this had happened, me and Kiki weren't really talking like that anymore. Like we had kind of like fell off a little bit. So I feel like Kiki was more so on her side. She was talking to her more or whatever, which was fine. Like I didn't really, I didn't really take no offense to it. Um, you know what I'm saying? So when, when we both fell to the ground, she got back up before I did. Cause like I said, I was on my back like this. I was on my back and before I could get up, before I could get up, Kiki was over there and I kept hearing her say, stop y'all. But Kiki was grabbing my arm and she was grabbing my leg. She, Kiki, okay. And Kiki is also bigger. The girl I was fighting, she might've been like 130, 140 or something. Kiki is bigger. She's um like five, she might be like five, eight, five, 10. I don't know, but she's tall. She's taller than me, and I'm 5'6". She's tall, and Kiki might be like 200-some pounds. So, um, 
I don't know how big she is exactly, but she might not be like 200 pounds, but she was losing weight. So, but she was just bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm skinny. So, um, Kiki was grabbing me and I'm like, stop grabbing me. Like, so I can get up. Like, so I was trying to get up y'all before I could even get up y'all. The girl had got it before me. Cause like I said, she didn't have nothing on. She like, she just had on her clothes and her shoes. Um, and I believe she was wearing sandals and her shoes had came off or something like that. So, um, she got up and she tried to kick me. She got up and she tried to kick me. So y'all, if I'm on the ground and I got this one girl trying to grab on me, I, she said she was trying to break it up, but it didn't look like that. Especially if you watched the video back, it didn't look like that. But, um, she, she tried to like, like, you know what I'm saying? She tried to kick me. So, I'm so y'all, y'all know I got my step converse on, so I'm just kicking, 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 kicking in the chest, kicking all that. Like, I'm just kicking because at this point, you need to let me get up so we can have a one on one square fight, no hair pulling, none of that. Like, let me get up. I don't like, I honestly, personally, I don't like that. Like, I don't like when people try to get you and you down. No, let her get up and y'all can go head up. Like, that's how I feel a fight, a real fight should go. So, she had, um, she was trying to kick me, so I'm just kicking at this point because I couldn't get up. My backpack was heavy and I was already on my back. Like, it's gonna take me a minute to get up. So, um, all my stuff was falling out of my purse, y'all. Like, everything was falling out of my purse. Everything, my, my house keys was out of my purse. Uh, everything, airpot case was out of my purse. Everything, pencil, everything I had in my purse was on the floor, lip gloss, all that. So, um, so yeah. So then y'all, as soon as I got back up, as soon as, cause she tried to like pull me, as soon as I started to get back up y'all, as soon as I was, and then she, and then she had like, okay, y'all, she was trying to like grab me, like grab my backpack straps and pull me. So as soon as I got back up, she was back on the ground. Y'all, why as soon as I got back up, the principals and them and the SROs walked over there and broke it up. I was so mad because I'm just like, Hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. I don't care what nobody say, head up. If we go head up, I'm not saying like, I like, I just, I can whoop everybody. But I know if we go head up, I'm gonna get my licks in. You know what I'm saying? But I don't like catching people on the floor or catching them when they down. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, let them go head up and let it be fair. So, um, she had like, was trying to put me up or whatever and the, the principal came over there. Um. I'm real tight with the principals. Like, they love me. They know I'm cool. Like, I do my work. I do what I'm supposed to do. So, the principal was like, so, um, the principals was, they was helping me get all my stuff. Y'all know that I wear contacts. So, while this was all happening, my contacts, I could not see. My contacts were like, if you're in a scuffle, of course, my contacts was like all the way up here, y'all. So, it was not on my people. Your contacts has to be on your people for you to be able to see. So, I could not see, um... So I was trying to like rub my eyes to get my contacts back on my pupil. I was trying to find out where they, I didn't know if they had fell out. I didn't know if they was stuck up there. Like, I didn't know what was going on. So, um, then SRO started picking all up, picking my stuff up and handing me my stuff. Cause like my keys, like I got to get in the house today. My keys, um, cause when I get, my parents work in a different city. So when I get home, it's just me. So, um, I have to have my keys done. So I, um, so I remember me trying to like wipe my eyes and, I didn't see her at that, but I seen her and her friend exit in the cafeteria. Like, nobody was walking with them. No principal was walking with them. No SRO was walking with them. But they're all by me. And I'm like, why y'all by me, baby? Like, I know they was trying to check on me or whatever. So, y'all. So, they walk me out. So, as they're walking me out, I see the girl. So, I try to run back up. Like, you know what I'm saying? In the hallway. It was nobody in the hallway. I try to, you know, I'm like, okay, come on. Like, I'm screaming. I'm like, come on. So they like, Johnny, if you don't calm down, like, we're going to have to put you in handcuffs. Like, I was really upset. And I don't feel like I lost. I just feel like she did catch me lacking when I was on the ground. But I feel like when we were going head up, and like most of the video, y'all, like, when we were going head up, like I said, it was a silent fight and nobody knew we were fighting. Most of the video was from when I fell, when we fell on the ground. And she, like, tried to get up and kick me. But she didn't even kick me, though. Like, she missed. So, um. Yeah, most of the video was from that, but it is like a small clip of, I'm going to put it like right here. It is a small clip of, if you watch the small clip of us going head up and we're, you know. So, um, um, like, I think I had missed a punch. She had missed a couple punches. I, she, I remember her trying to punch me and it went like right here, like on my shoulder or something. And I remember me trying to 
go like that or I, I don't know what I did. I don't I think I tried to and it I don't know. It was a lot going on. We was moving real fast. So she had um a little bit after that, they was walking her out and I tried to run back up whatever and they was like, You need to chill. So we started walking down the hallway. Um we started walking down the hallway. I don't know where she had went. I don't know. I guess her and her friend, they were trying to calm her down. Kiki was trying to calm Cece down, whatever. So we started walking down the hallway. The SRO and the principal was walking me down the hallway. Um, my principal, if you see this and you subscribe to my YouTube, my principal is subscribed to my YouTube. The one that did this. You see this? Shout out to you, girl. You a real one. You, you a real one. I, I miss her for real. So um, they were walking me down the hallway. So I get on my phone, I call my mama. That was the first person I call, I call my mama. Um, I call my mama, like, my mom just got to fight. Y'all, my mama hang up in my face. She hang up in my face. Cause she think I be playing. Like she really do think I be playing. Which I do be playing with her. But, so when I was trying to call her back, the service wasn't working. So, um, so after, I, after that, um, I realized I ain't have my wig, y'all. I realized I ain't have my wig. I had my backpack and everything else, my purse, my stuff. I had my phone. But I ain't had no week. So, I looked at that SRO. I said, boy, you better go back in that cafeteria and get my wig, baby. You know how much that cost? And it was a 30 inch. It was a bust down. Y'all, it was a bust down. I was so irked. Like, I said, no, you need to go get my wig. I didn't know what them kids was in there doing with my wig. They was probably throwing it around, tossing it. Uh, I don't know what they was doing, investigating on it, looking at it. Because the ball had back, the ball cap had came off too. So I'm like, you need to go get my wig. That costs a lot of money, baby. I can. I'm telling him like I can rewear that. Like, you need to go get my wig. So he was like, okay, I'm gonna go get your wig. So the principal took me in her office. So he went back and got my wig, and he came back with my wig. Yeah, I didn't put the wig back on. I was thinking about it, but I was like, but like you know, like the lace was up, so it didn't make no sense. So I put the wig in my backpack. Not gonna cap. I did put the wig in my backpack, and I walked around with them jailbreaks. So um, so I had um. I had, um, what happened? Oh, she took me in her office and she called my mom. So I'm on the phone, mom. She told my mom, like, yeah, Journey really did just get to fighting. So I'm talking to mama. I'm like, mama, I got to fighting. Like, this girl done snatched my wig off. She done step up, 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 wig off. <laughs> Which, y'all, I am a comedian, so I was not mad about the wig. Like, my sister does hair, so, like, and I know how to put wigs on myself, so, but my sister does hair, so I knew I could go get my hair fixed, you know what I'm saying? So, I was told, I'm like, my mom's so mad, because I was like, it's over a backpack. That's what really had me upset. It was, it was over a backpack, and it could have been easily talked about, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, y'all, I don't have time for the childish stuff. Like, I'm mature, like, we could talk about it. Like, we don't, like, you know what I'm saying? But if you want to take it there, we can take it there, too. That's just how I feel. Like, we can talk, or we can take it there. But I honestly, I get tired of talking. Because really, it ain't even much to talk about with a backpack. And it wasn't really much to talk about with a backpack. I told her, like, yes, I did move it. Because it was in my seat. Straight like that. That's just how it was to me. Um, It wasn't really nothing else to talk about. And it wasn't really a big deal. Like, and people, like, were confused at my school. Like, they were like, what did y'all fight over? Like, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I didn't know her personally. So, I still, to this day, I don't have no reason not to like that girl. Because I don't know her. Um, I, I just know her name. Um, what, what people call her. But I don't know her, so... Why would I say I don't like her just because we fought? No, we fought and it's over with. So then uh, I was on the phone with my mom, where I'm telling her and mama, like mama was at work. I remember this day, mama, um, mama and my stepdad both work in Nashville and we live in Clarksville. So mama and my stepdad both work in Nashville. And I remember that day he had, was getting his car fixed and mom and my stepdad rode to Nashville together and she like dropped him off. And, um, Mom was like, I can't come get you. Like, or I'm, if I come get you and take you home, I have to go back to Nashville. And then I have to come all the way back home. So mom was like, I can't come get you um, today. Like, you know, I would if I, if he didn't ride with me to work, like I would come get you. So I'm like, okay, remind y'all, I don't have any siblings or nothing. So I was like, okay. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to get a lift home. Like, it ain't a big deal. I'm just going to get a lift home. So then while we were figuring all that out, um, the lady was like, the principal was like, Come on, Journey, we're going to go to the nurse to fix your face. I said, my face? What was on my face? Uh, what, 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 what's on my face? What you mean, fix my face? What are you talking about? Y'all, I'm thinking I had a black eye, busted lip, something. I'm like, what you talking about? So, she's like, okay, you're going to see. we just going to go to the nurse. So, the nurse is right down the hall. We walked in the nurse. Y'all looked in the mirror. I had a scratch from 
just might call it me. I had a scratch from my nose to like right here. I'm gonna insert a picture of that too. I had a scratch. It looked like a nail scratch. I remember I had on nails too, y'all. It was it was like right after Valentine's Day. I had on Valentine's nails. I had on red nails. I had on nails. My nails was coming off while we were fighting and everything. Like no cap. Um, but it was like it looked like a, it was like a little surface scratch because even if you look at my face now, you can't see it anymore. But it was like a little um, yeah, it was like a little surface scratch. So I'm like, um, I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, but it just looked like somebody took, like with their real nail and like kind of scratched me. So I'm like, what? So, so we in there y'all. I was crying. Like I was crying because I'm like, you know, when people fight you, their main goal is to mess up your face, especially if you're pretty. Like I know, like I done seen people fight and they be like, and they cut the girl face or something, slice the girl face. Like people really will do that. So I'm like, okay. I'm thinking the scarf to be there forever. It ain't never gonna go away. So, um, I was mad. It was like, and it was like blood. It was like blood, I guess. Um, the blood was kind of dried up by the end, though. It was dried up. So, the nurse was just, I don't know what she was doing. I think I like cleaned it. And she tried to like, give me like a band aid, like a bandage or something. It was like a long scratch. So, I had like a little bandage on, but I ended up taking it off because it wasn't even that deep. So, after that, um, after that, she walked me back up to the front office. And I was waiting on my lip or whatever. So I'm like, um, y'all, remind y'all, I'm walking through the school, no wig on, no nothing. Straight, straight back. She just walked through the school. So I got up there to the front or whatever. And like they were like, What happened to you, baby? Like, you looking a little rough. What your hell, girl? So I'm like, This this the real me. This I was. This this the real me, baby. But I got hair, so I wasn't even tripping. Like, baby, y'all see this hell? Y'all see this hell? So she was like, um, yeah. So I was in the front office, I was waiting. So y'all, why am I waiting? And my boyfriend mama walk in. I'm like, she looking at me like, what happened? I'm like, girl, I never got scrapped up here. I never got scrapped She was there to pick my boyfriend up early. And she was gonna take me home, but I was like, no, like the lift was like a couple minutes away. So I was like, no, I'm good, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I ended up getting in the lift and I ended up going home. I remember when I got home, girl, I threw that wig in the corner and I was telling mom about the scratch. Mama don't have iPhones. So I couldn't FaceTime her. So I was waiting for mama to come home. My shin was hurting. Like, I don't know if I, I don't know what I had did to my shin, but my shin right here on my leg, that bone right there was hurting. So, um, yeah, I just chilled for the rest of the day or whatever. So, yeah, after that, I had, um, after that. Yeah, mama had came home and she was just looking at my cut or whatever, my scratch, and she was like, um, you know, we can put some cocoa butter on that, some neosporin. We put cocoa butter and neosporin on it, it went away in three days. Like, yeah, it wasn't that deep. Um, so yeah, when I by the time when I had came back to school, it was no scratch. Um, so yeah. So we got we both got suspended for five days each. Even though she hit me first, they gave us the same punishment. I know where I used to live. And when I used to live in Nashville, it was whoever here first get the most punishment. But I guess it ain't like that down here. But we did get the same amount of time, whatever, which was cool. I wasn't really tripping. Um, it was self-defense in my case. So my mama wasn't tripping. She was like, okay, take the five days, whatever. So um, then, then, so fast forward after the five day suspension, which it was really a week because the weekend. So we came back to school. We came back to school and I'm like, I, I ain't know what to expect. I ain't know if it was gonna go round two. I didn't know what to expect. So you know, I come ready this time or whatever. But we didn't like we walked past each other in the hallway. It was no. Okay, guys, my camera battery keeps dying, so I'm sorry if it's like so many clips. But yeah, so after that, we did come back to school. It was like no beef. Um, she was cool. Like I didn't know her, like I said, so it wasn't really no beef. I didn't know her personally. I didn't have no reason not to like her. It was like we fought and it was over. Um, everybody was asking me questions like, your wig got snatched off. That's all I could hear. Your wig got snatched off. Okay, it, it ain't that deep. Like, I have hair. So I didn't really care about the wig situation. I got wigs and wigs. I buy a new one. It don't matter. <laughs> okay, so my camera keeps dying. Um, I did not charge my battery because I didn't know I was going to be doing this video today. But yeah, so we don't have an issue with each other. Um, she might got a dope personality. She might be real cool. I don't know because I don't know her like that. But yeah, like, so that was really it. Everybody was just asking me questions like when I got back to school. Like, what happened? I'm like, it was a, it was a backpack. 
that, that's all I can tell you because I don't even know what happened. Um, so yeah, that was really like it for the story. Like, we didn't talk no more after that. Um, they did switch my lunch, they did switch my lunch. I don't know why my lunch got switched, but they did switch my lunch and I did end up going to a different lunch, so I did not return to that lunch. And yeah, we didn't have no classes together because, like I said, she was older than me, so she was in a different grade. So yeah, like, and then that was really it so far after that um yeah and then like we had and the crazy part about it was we had talked previously before because we were sitting at the same lunch table like we had had a conversation before like a friendly conversation so i that's why i didn't know where all this was coming from but you know stuff happens sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do um and me personally yeah like that's what it was so yeah um yeah, that was like my real first fight because middle school I did not fight in elementary I feel like don't count. Since then I've been in like two more fights after that since then. But fighting is not cute so don't do that. So like I've always told myself, girl I'm too pretty to be fighting. I want my face to be bomb clear. I don't want no scratches. I don't want no black eyes. I don't want no busted lips. I don't want none of that. No bruises. None of that. So don't fight y'all. Don't fight girls. Don't fight boys. Um it's very you know like it's not cute um but i will say do defend yourself don't let nobody feel like they're bumping down on you or bullying you because you have to defend yourself and even if you don't know how to fight that's okay like i feel like everybody feel like oh you have to know how to fight like you don't you don't like it's never that deep so yeah that's really it for this story time like that's really all i can tell y'all like that's really it um don't fight you know keep it cute you know so yeah that's really it for this story time um if you haven't watched my last story time make sure you go watch my last story time i'm gonna put it on the screen go watch my last story time i gave y'all what y'all wanted because y'all wanted a new story time and yeah i just had to give it to y'all because y'all did really good on the last one so with that being said make sure you like comment and subscribe like period yeah we are going to wrap this up so yeah we're gonna wrap this up i'm gonna see y'all in the next video it might be next week it might be tomorrow you never know so stay tuned bye guys look at her look at her mama man look at her